So what is going on guys, it's Cyberhorn92 here, I'm here with who? Maxwell, Maxwell Pagan. Hey, uh, welcome, and would like to say congrats on your talk, and what did you do at the YCS 250 uh, Columbia? So, I went to YCS Columbia, the 253 YCS Columbia, and I got top 16. Nice, congrats, congrats. Uh, what, what deck were you playing yeah. for, that, for that event? Kassira. All right, sounds good. No, no surprise. All right, ready when you are, man. All right. So pretty standard for Kashir builds. Uh, three Fenrir's, three Unicorn. Uh, two Rhyzard. Uh, I've seen people uh, cutting this down to one, but in reality, I just think that the good ratio is still two. One Scareclaw. One Kashira Ogre. And I'm not really using the Sherilyn and Kashira. Uh, I cut that down. Uh, not really needed for the for the build I'm using. Three Ash Blossom, really a uh, standard staple. Uh two Gamaziel. Um this is a card that I uh, really just Thought about it a lot with the t with the team, and uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, it's better Gamma Seal on level eight rather than a level seven. But if it stood there on the field, it could probably be used by the opponent. So I didn't want that to happen. Makes sense. Makes sense. Three shifters main deck. Um, this is a tech choice that uh, we theorized with the team as well, and. Uh, for Colombia specifically, we knew that we were going to go up against a lot of Despia and Naturia Runic. So that's why we decided to main this uh main deck this. Makes sense. I bet that card was overperformance for you guys for sure. Yeah, definitely. Every every time every time I, I drew into this uh at the start of the match and I used it, uh it basically won me the game. Dang, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's really powerful. Uh, depending on who you're dueling up against. So that's it for the monster now. For the spells, uh, terraforming and the pressure planets, pretty staple. Three Teosis. Three Kashtir of Earth. This is, for me, this is the mo the the most broken Kashtir card. Um, it gives you so much uh, grind gain uh, that if the opponent doesn't get rid of it, it's just yeah, they're just gonna lose. Makes sense. Makes sense. Prosperity for um, yeah, is the access to your car? You need the consistency. Forbidden lens. Um, really, this has become a, a standard staple in the cashier decks. Um, you need to protect your your end board, specifically if you're not going for the lock. Uh, if you're going for the Kashira Razard, you need to protect him. And uh, two Book of Moons. Um, I really wanted to bump this into three. Um, I just don't know what I would take out <laughs> for the third one yet. And the last spell, one Harpy Feather Duster. This is just a tech choice. Um, and it really did work out for me uh, during the YCS Columbia. I lost every die roll. Wow. <laughs> so, I was al so I was always second. <laughs> and every time I started with this, it was just really powerful. Makes sense. Yep. For the track cards, uh, two impermanence. Uh, same as Book of Moon. I want to bump this into three, but uh, I. I Ended up cutting one book and one in permanence because I didn't have the spaces for the gamma seal. So yeah, it's tight. It's tight. And for the last trap cards, uh, Kashira Big Ben and uh, preparations. And this is a forty-one deck. Forty-one. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, was yeah. um in permanence uh, a two of? Was there a time uh, you, um you wanted to play three of, or it was perfect at two? To be honest, um, I felt like the card did well, but I still wanted to see it more. Makes sense. So, 
same as Book of Moon, I, I, I probably want to bump it into three. Makes sense. To the extra deck now, or yeah. So for the extra deck, three Kashira uh, Rise Heart. Uh, really, uh, two. It's okay to play it too, but if you go into mirror matches a lot, um, they could probably just take out one with Unicorns and one with Depilosis, and uh, yeah, you, you need this. So I, I didn't want them to. Get near Kashira Rise Arch Fly Play 3 just to be in the safe zone. Yep, that's a good call as well. Uh, to Kashira Shangri La, um, really nothing to, nothing much to say about this card. Uh, really staple. Uh, not played a lot during the mirror matches, but played a lot during every other match. So on the Ablosis. Not really afraid that they take away my Diablosis. So I'm not really going for the lock zone uh, on the mirror match, so don't really care about it as much. Two sell two zeus, uh, really important card, uh, and uh, really broken. So there's not much to say about it. One big eye. Um, so big eye for me. I think it's good at one, but there were times during uh, Colombia where they took out my big eye and it really hurt. So it, it just depends, really. Uh, but but I, I did feel like I needed a second one. For the last three XYC, Dracosac, number 74, and Dark and Dragon. So Dracosac really was only there for the purpose of getting rid of uh, skill drain and pro 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 uh, problematic cards like that. Uh, number 74 was only here just for Labyrinth because they can't really target it without getting hurt. And if they don't get rid of it, it's an easy as access to sales. And Dark and Dragon is just really good. It helps me destroy cards and banish cards from a graveyard to get additional effects. Donor Dagger for Hire and Infinite Track. Uh, pretty stable and on the Kashira builds. And last but not least, Omega. Uh, so Omega really. Um, as as you already imagine, Gamma is on the side deck, and this came up like three times during the tournament. Wow! And it won, and it won me every time. Those three times, it won me the, the game. Dang, that's crazy. So, okay. Um, before sorry. before getting to your uh side deck, um, was there a time uh, uh you kind of missed playing the red eyes, the burn one? No, not really. Um, it, it just it. it we I either OTK my opponent or or I lock the zones for my opponent, so mm -hmm. it never really came up. Okay, so it's like one or another. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I, it, there was never a time where I left my opponent with like three hundred life point, four hundred life point, and I needed that red eyes to close it out. Mm. It, it never happened. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So for side deck, the gamma package. Um, this card, for me, it overperformed. It, it won me so many games, and for game two and three, I always side deck this in. Didn't matter if I was going first or second, because really, if I was going first, and I activated terraforming or pressure planet, and my opponent wanted to ash me or something like that, or my Paras Prosperity, etc. Um, this really came in clutch because I could play this on my first turn to get uh, Omega out and uh, basically punish them for trying to uh, activate the hand trap. So I would take their Blossom and another card from their hand. Wow. And essentially... 
So it's really strong start. And and by the end, when I get my Kashira Rizard out on the field, I would take the banish target for from from Omega and just put it as a material and it would lose the the it would never go back to their hand. Wow, that is a big IQ. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really strong. Uh two cosmic cyclone. Um, really like the card. Uh, it helps against Trap Trick, Labyrinth, and even in the mirror matches, whenever they activate the field or cast your birth, um, it really helps. So I really like how this card performs. Two Solemn Judgment. Um, I kind of wish I had the third because I really wanted to see it every time I start. Um, but it did really good. Um, I was a little bit, uh, how do I say this, uh, worried for for my time, my uh, for the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, Kashira barely goes into time, really, because it's really an explosive deck. Makes so sense. you're so either you LTK or your opponent just uh, scoops because they can't do anything because of the lot stock. So we're not really going into time that much, so I really want to see Sullen Judgment. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I saw the players, um, the Australian came to America for the 250 Los Angeles. They played that in their main deck. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> so, so main Solemn, uh, definitely really, really strong. Uh, I can see why it would take someone by surprise. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but but for me, uh, I would still leave it on the side deck. Makes sense. Just to be safe. Yeah, just to be safe. Yeah, and, uh, and, and as you as I told you earlier, I lost every single die. Dang. So, <laughs> so, so <laughs> I would be going second with Solemn, and that's a little bit too late. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> so I'm running a two package of Dimensional Barrier. Dark Ruler No More, and Evenly Match. And the reason I'm running two of them is because I'm running the single Triple Tactics Thrust, which Ooh. would be the third for each of them. That is um, smart. Let me put this here because you can't see on the switch. Yep. Dang, that is smart. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Would, would you change um, anything of your list? Um, anything at all besides the cards uh, you kind of didn't miss, the Third Book of Moon and that other third card? So, I think besides the Book of Moon and the Impermanence, um, I would like to have. I, I know I'm running the two off of each mm -hmm, of this mm -hmm. uh, because of this, but mm -hmm. I think I want to see the third evenly. Third evenly makes sense. Yeah, it's just a really strong card, and I played evenly match on the main deck. Mm -hmm. So I would probably do a, a quick change and just go back into mining evenly, Makes sense. Um, Makes sense. because th this is a really strong card. It, your your opponents are never prepared for this. Makes sense. And for this event, uh, you came in top sixteen. Is that correct? Top sixteen. Yes. Yep. Congrats. Congrats. Uh, before ending this video, uh, you want to give any shout outs? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, shout out to my team, Gaio Gaming. Um, really, thank you a lot for all the support and the. The conversations we have uh, up to this point. Uh, shout outs to Tower Games, uh, which has been sponsored. And uh, shout outs to uh, Michael and Mitchell, specifically because uh, they were the ones uh, who also were round after round with me, uh, supporting me and, and, and just uh, theorizing through rounds so I could uh, make it to the top. Hey. So, really, really thank you to. to to everyone and uh, shout outs to Puerto Rico finally hey. to everyone who supports me sounds good sounds good congrats again man hopefully to see you more in the future and yeah your boy Starborn92 is signing out peace